everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with our Monday DIY. I'm already making a mess. So what we are going to be doing today is taking this wired basket from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to be turning it into a very cute Easter Bunny top hat, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, I already started messing around with mine because like everyone who watches me knows I am very brand new at this So I started messing around with it to see how it was gonna work so I can help teach how to do it So you can see already that I've already messed around with it. So Thankfully these wire baskets are so very easily moved around so you can just Be able to push things back into place if you mess up a little bit because let me tell you it took me a couple minutes here to figure it out. <laughs> so, but again, thankfully you can just push things and move things around with these. So it's very, very easy. Basically all I did was flip it upside down, took the top of the basket and bent it. So it had a little rim going around the bottom. Now you can, again, move things around. Let me cut the tag off until you have a little rim at the bottom of your hat. Let me put it down a little bit, there you go. So you can see how it sits here. So it sits nice and straight up, makes a beautiful little top hat, and you have your rim of the hat here at the bottom. Very, very simple in my mind, so hopefully it turns out that way. All I'm going to be using is I'm gonna pick to my favorite ribbon, and I have this one here that has like the really pretty bunnies and eggs on it, a bunch of glitter, cause you guys know how I feel about glitter. I picked up, you guys saw um, in my video where I got this stand up bunny rabbit here. I am going to be just cutting his ears off. I know that sounds so cruel, but, um, it is just the easiest way for me to figure out what I was doing. I was really hoping to find, and they don't have them out yet, I was really hoping to find like the Easter Bunny ears they have like on headbands and stuff every year, but they don't have them out yet. So this is what we're going to be doing. Just cutting straight across the bottom here so they stay together and we're gonna be using his ears, her ears. I picked a smaller ribbon here that we're gonna be using for a little bow. This one is just this really gorgeous pink color. And I also think I'm going to be using these really cute eggs I've shown in my Dollar Tree haul already. So we're gonna be using the yellow one, the pink one, and the blue one. And I also don't know if I'll be using this, but this was from my last DIY, this really cute purple rose. But I also picked up some light pink or pretty pink. It's not really light, light on the lighter side and these white carnations. So, once you are done messing around with this wire basket here and just kind of pushing out any imperfections or pushing in any imperfections, and you have it the way that you would like it, then we are going to start from here. So, we have our little top hat. We are just going to take our ribbon here measure around because this is going to go right at the bottom above the rim so we're just going to measure around here and just cut that just like that so i'm going to just add a little hot glue here on the back of your ribbon just be careful with your fingers not to burn yourself and just going to stick that right on there. Going to wrap our ribbon all the way around. Just making sure that it's pulled down all around here. And then just bring it around. And we're gonna glue it here at the other end just for it to hold. So adding a little bit more glue here on this end and folding it over. And 
there we already have a really cute hat going on. You can move this down a little. You can move it around. So, I mean, that's the good thing about it. There we go. So now we have our cute little hat here and our ribbon. So I already took the ears off of a different bunny that I had and I literally just held them up like this and just cut right across. So a little bit lower than where they are just so they stay together. And we're gonna cut those off and those are gonna get hot glued right here on the top. So we're just gonna throw some hot glue there. I'm gonna put them in the middle and we're gonna just glue them right to the top there. Just hang on to that for a minute and let that dry. Perfect. And we have our little bunny ears. I think I'm just going to add a little bit up here to hold it in the front a little better. There we go. So there we have our bunny ears on and our pretty ribbon. So this is what you will have so far. And now I am just going to take some of these really cute flowers and I'm just going to glue them down in the front here. I'm not sure how many I'm going to use. Kind of looks like it might just use maybe two or three. Let's see what it looks like with three. So that's why I just play around with it. I don't want to glue anything in place yet, but just kind of play around with it. See what we like. <laughs> I think we're just going to stick with the two. So we're just going to use one pink carnation and one white carnation. And here is like how it is from the front. And we're just going to put these two little flowers right here at the bottom. So we're just going to take our hot glue here and just hot glue all around the little plastic part. And just stick this in so it gets stuck on the wiring here. And just let that go and we'll do the same thing with the white one and just get that in there you have to kind of hold it there for a second so this is the front here and you just have these two cute little flowers in the front. And just as easy as that. Well, we know the worst thing for me right now is trying to make a bow because I am not that good at it. But I want to make a cute little bow for the top there. So we're just going to cut off some ribbon. And now normally I kind of make like a cheater bow. Which kind of starts out like this a little bit. Because <laughs> my bow making skills are just not great. So, I usually just make a cheater bow like this, glue it, and then add the little strings there. So, I am just going to make this bow, and then we are going to glue it on top by the ears. Okay, so here is the best I'm going to do at a bow today. Just a little one here. Add some hot glue to the back of it. 
just glue it right here in the center of these bunny ears. And we have this really cute little bow on the top. Now you can add other things if you have like, um, I might have some here, like these little Easter eggs if you're interested in like popping them off. And gluing them on if you wanted to, to add just a little extra. Uh, let's see, the yellow one down here. Actually, we might do that. <laughs> I think I kind of like it. Yep, I think we're going to. So, the two little Easter eggs that came, excuse me, in the pack, it had a bunch of them. I think there was 12 of them of this size on the stick. We're just going to pop those sticks right off of there. And we're going to add a little hot glue to the bottom and to the side. And we're just going to stick that right in there next to that flower. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other one. Now I'm using pink and yellow. And we're just going to stick it right on in there like that just to add a little extra just gonna let that sit there for a minute okay so there we have it so here is our top hat <coughs> excuse me which again so super easy now my plan here is to take these eggs that I got here from the Dollar Tree a while back. I'm just going to cut the tags off. You don't have to cut the ribbon off on the bottom if you don't want to because we're just going to put them inside I think for like a little more pizzazz. Again you don't have to fill this with anything if you don't want to. It is completely up to you but I think that I'm going to because we have this very cute top hat here our bunny top hat and i'm just simply going to just place these i'm going to flip it over here and i'm just going to place these on the inside here i'm going to push that in there a little bit they will stay because they're nice and chunky and look at that so it just adds a little bit more to the hat, which I just think is so super cute. I am going to leave it that way, but I just think this makes a very cute decor piece. And again, you guys saw it. You've been with me here for, it looks like we're going on 13 minutes. Um, it probably takes about 20 after you play around with the, the basket here to get the rim out exactly how you want it. But... Oh my goodness, something so simple and so easy, and I just love it. <sighs> I'm very happy. Because, <laughs> you know, like I said a million times, I'm just starting out, so it's just kind of play around, play around, play around until you get it to where you like it. Now, again, if you want, you can remove the ribbon on the bottom of the big eggs. I didn't, but you can't even see them, except for this yellow one here, but... I think this came out very, very cute, and it was so super, uh, super simple and easy to do. I love it. Cost efficient. Everything about it I love. So <laughs> I am very, very happy with this, how this came out. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed making this with me. I am going to just move this somewhere else, try to get a better picture of it, a better video of it like I usually do, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so there it is. I think this came out really, really cute. So we have our little bunny ears and our really cute eggs on the inside. I love it. I hope you guys do too. Look how cute. I am very happy with how that came out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, bye now. Mm -hmm.